Hey, Stephen Bull here, host of Waterways TV on a beautiful Kingfisher uh, with twin Yamahas in Vancouver. And it's a winter miracle here. There's blue sky and sun. So the perfect day to get out with Yamaha and learn about the whole Helmmaster EX system. Now, instead of me stumbling through it, I've got an expert here. So we're going to get somewhere a little more sheltered. And Mike DiNardo is going to give us the full walkthrough of all of the very cool functions of this. Hi, my name is Mike DiNardo with Yamaha Canada. We are at the Vancouver International uh, boat show. Uh, this is the floating show portion of the show and we are demoing a uh, uh, brand new Kingfisher 3025 GFX with our Yamaha Hellmaster EX system. So we have this boat equipped with a pair of F200 four-stroke motors with a bolt-on electronic steering. This steering can be a complete bolt-on replacement for any hydraulic steering twin engine application with Yamaha. The simple thing is, is we've had fly-by-wire controls for a long time. So there's no mechanical connection between the control box and the motors, it's all electrical. Well, we've added electronic steering. And now the computer can control shift, throttle, steering. And when you can articulate the two motors independently, you can actually walk a boat sideways without a bow thruster by vectoring the thrust of the motors. So it gives, you, it gives you a level of precision on a boat that is completely unprecedented without pods on big, large boats. On top of just the slow speed maneuverability of a joystick, having control of the steering means that we can do an integrated autopilot. So without even the use of a screen, we can do course hold, heading hold, pattern steering, and then when we made it with an MFD, we can also do track point where you can follow a waypoint set by the device. So for example, if I wanna go into forward gear, I can go heading hold, the boat will keep us on this heading. I can adjust that course simply by twisting the joystick, it'll change it by one degree. If I twist twice, it'll change it by five degrees. On our controls, we also have speed control. So if you're in a marina that has a five mile an hour speed limit, you can simply jockey the speed up and down. And if we had one of our gauges here, we'd be able to see the, the indicator. I can actually see it on the gauge up front. And so I can set it to five mile an hour and it's essentially a cruise control. That works whether you're at low speed or high speed. I can be up on step, I can set 32 mile an hour. I know I've got a 32 mile journey. The boat's gonna take an hour to get there. A couple other nice features with our control system. I can go into single lever control, move the starboard out of the way. Now both port and starboard are on one lever. Our larger motors, we can also do trim assist. So you can actually set a trim angle for your boat at a level you like, push a button. The boat is going to automatically adjust the trim as you accelerate. New boaters love it, seasoned boaters hate it because they don't want the computer doing their thinking for them. But the biggest feature of the whole thing is how soft the steering feels. Because it's electronic, there is no mechanical feedback. You can set the tension, you can set the turns um, lock to lock. So at slow speed, I can do three turns lock to lock. The motors are going to move quite quickly to be, to be more uh, uh, versatile at low speed or, or more effective at low speed. But then I can set nine turns lock to lock above 3000 RPM. So the, the steering is less sensitive when you're underway. You can do the same with the friction. You do lighter friction at low speed, higher friction at high speed. Completely customizable using a CL5 display that we have at the main station on this boat. Using uh, a series of NEMA gateways and MFD interface devices, we can also take, in this case, a SIMRAD display, and we can actually show our Yamaha gauges right up on the MFD. So you can actually keep track of what the engines are doing, your fuel tank, your temperature, um, all that can be done right on your MFD. That'll work with SIMRAD, Raymarine, Garmin, um, which is the, the three main brands you would typically find on this size of a vessel. Okay, so when you wanna go station to station, all you have to do is put the active station, which is marked as a blue light right here, and station is on. 
when this is in neutral, I can now go forward. Forward station is identical. I simply hit the station select button. Now this device becomes active and now I have complete control. And the nice thing is, is it locks everything out at the back. So Cody back there could go and play with the steering, he can play with the shift throttle, absolutely nothing's gonna happen. So you've got kids, grandkids playing around on the boat. Nobody can really affect you. On a boat that's dual station with hydraulic steering, somebody at the back can steer the boat, even though you're trying to captain it up here. Let's clear this up, okay. So here you can see our speed control. So when I, when I engage speed control, it'll say speed control active. Now I can actually set, if I want to troll for salmon, I want to be two and a half mile an hour, I can literally roll it right down to 2.5. And now if the motors can't idle low enough, they'll actually engage pattern shift. They'll shift in and out of gear automatically to maintain 2.5 miles an hour. It has a standalone GPS system separate of the Simrad. It's gonna use that GPS signal to see speed over ground and it's gonna maintain 2.5 mile an hour by shifting in and out of gear however it has to do it. All right, All right nice, and we, we got a little bit of chop here, which is nice. Right, so we're in, uh, we're in a 30 foot boat, uh, weighs a little over 6,000 pounds, twin 200 horsepowers, which is not even max for this hull. And with variable cam timing, these inline fours pack a pretty good punch. So let's see what we can do here. So there's on step in three seconds. Dial it back to a nice cruise. Trim her out a little bit. So there's 30 mile an hour, 4,300 RPM. At this speed, we're burning collectively seven gallon, 17 gallons an hour collectively. And I could be a little more efficient if I'm running at 28, 27 mile an hour. Planning speed on this hull is about 26, 27. So there's 3,800 RPM, 13.4 gallons per hour. And it's not even calm out here as you can see. Well, the nice thing is 400 horsepower, if you have to get out of trouble fast, we have Reliance stainless steel props on this boat. They grab the water beautifully. And in no time at all, you're at full speed and you're hauling. Okay, Cody, hang on. Okay. Put it in a hard corner, those stainless props just grab, stick, and away you go. That's what offshore performance is all about, right there. Nothing better than a pair of yammies on open water. There is nothing better. Okay, so another feature of this joystick is the fact that because it's connected to a GPS, I can hit stay point and the boat will now take into account our heading and our position and it will lock us in this position. So it has about a 15 foot swing either way. We can use this marker as a reference. It's going to account for any windage, any drift, um, control each motor individually, keep us in this spot. Once you, you have a position selected, the, the, the good use of this is if you're bottom fishing, you can actually check a reef before you have to go through the, the act of uh, uh, dropping your anchor. But if you don't find any fish here, I can tap that joystick over. The boat is now gonna move us 10 feet to the port side, keeping us on this heading. Now we can check more of the reef and we can keep checking until we find the fish. I can tap it up, it'll go 10 feet forward. I can tap it three times, it'll go 30 feet over. So you have complete control there. Now that's one of three functions. That is stay point. Now we can go fish point. So fish point will take into account just our position, regardless of heading. It'll allow the boat to swing using the bow or the stern as a pivot point, whatever way you set it. And it'll just maintain the position. This is going to be the function that works the motors the least. The least amount of shift events, because again, it doesn't care about our position. It'll take about five minutes for the boat to just figure out when it puts the bow into the current, 
Um, it's the most efficient way to maintain that position. The boat will drift a little bit until it finds a happy place, but it's the least amount of shift points. You can already tell that there's much less shifting hap happening than when I was on stay point because we're allowed to swing. Now the third option is drift point. Drift point doesn't care about position, only cares about heading. So now it'll allow you to drift across a reef, but not allow the boat to swing. So you can have four guys back here jigging and nobody's lines are gonna get tangled because the stern is not swinging. It's just keeping this heading, but allow you to drift across. So watch, watch what happens when we go back to the marina. We haven't dropped the fenders or the lines. So you can get to the marina, you're operating a boat by yourself. You can put it in set point, go out, set your lines, set your fenders, then you can jump back at the helm and enter your slip. So that's it, the boat's gonna, the boat's gonna do the thinking for you. Um, if you're waiting for a gas dock, if you wanna watch the fireworks, if you're checking a reef, or if you're just setting your line of fenders, that is a perfect functional system that you cannot do anyway if you don't have this joystick. You can dock a boat all you want if you know how to dock a boat. With twin engines, especially with a bow thruster, you can get into most slips. That you can't do without a joystick and the Hellmaster EX system. Okay, that is an impressive system. We're gonna take this boat back. Now, it's not just media that get these at the Vancouver International Boat Show. The public's available to come check these out as well. You know, it's the last day of the show, only until 3 p.m., but you can find out a lot more about these. Go to your local Yamaha dealer or yamaha-motor.ca and find out more. Tell them Steve Bull sent you. Get absolutely no discount.